To tonight, new at 11, danger from above a heavy plaster ceiling falls in a classroom in the exact spot where dozens of kids normally sit. And now the district is scrambling to eliminate the problem as a fight continues over who's going to foot the bill. CBS 2's Lou Young has the story now from New Rochelle. The school is a tangle of open ceilings and construction clutter. Daniel Webster Elementary in New Rochelle has no. been a work zone ever since inspectors made the awful discovery back in August. We averted a tragedy. We really did. I mean, to think that our babies could have been in a room. They were looking for problems, but nobody expected this. When they got to room 204 here, they took a look inside and couldn't believe what they saw. It was shocking, really. It took kind of a couple of seconds to understand what we were looking at. The lathe and plaster ceiling peeled away from the concrete above and slammed hard onto the desks where third graders would have been sitting on a school day. Years of water leaks aggravated a small design error made 85 years ago. They didn't use the right size fasteners, and the fasteners were not in any um, consistent pattern. And nobody knew it. Nobody knew it. It was in the plaster. The new school superintendent here is still shell-shocked. We find it totally appalling. Uh, it could have been disastrous, especially if students had been in the building. So now voters here are being asked to approve a $50 million bond issue to catch up on system-wide deferred maintenance. Some both think the system that allowed the near disaster needs to be addressed before it gets more money. I'm sure they want the money, and we'd like to have them uh, get the money, but we'd like to see the reforms first. The vote takes place Tuesday, and the district warns if it doesn't get the money, more surprises could lie ahead. Students, meanwhile, will be back under renovated ceilings at Daniel Webster School in January after the holiday break. We're in New Rochelle, Lou Young, CBS 2 News.